and the insurgency's performance, the spokesman says, is, quote, less effective <laughs> this year. As one expert tells CNN, today's attacks are about a war of perceptions. Here to talk about that, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, a member of the Armed Services Committee. When you see this, right in the heart of Kabul, yeah. coordinated attacks, perhaps not as effective, perhaps not as deadly, but this is the capital. What does that tell you about the state of play and the state of U.S. troops? 100,000 now, the president wants to get about 30,000 of them out in well, a year or so. Don't let this event uh, fool you into believing the fundamentals haven't changed. The Taliban are on their back foot, the surge forces. 30,000 have really taken the fight, the Taliban in the South. They can generate attacks like this, but they were suppressed. A coordinated effort between the, uh, the Afghan security forces, commandos, and NATO. You're seeing the feature. This is what I want in 2015. A military footprint where we can support the Afghan security forces when they engage the enemy. The fundamentals have changed against the Taliban. The person who said this is a war of perception is right. Uh, I've been there a lot. Uh, the surge is working, and we're on track to uh, defeat the enemy. So, so, so let's look at the numbers then. Right now, 100,000 U.S. troops right. in Afghanistan. By the end of 2011, <laughs> down to 90,000 right. is the Obama administration's plan. Mm -hmm. By the summer of 2012, down to 67,000, and then continue down from there. You okay with the plan as it is right uh, now? Uh, no. Uh, I would have liked to kept the surge forces, the 30,000, in place through the second fighting season. That wasn't an option given to the president. No one in the Pentagon suggested General Allen or Petraeus that you withdraw all surge forces in September of 2012. They wanted to go through uh, all of 2012, then get the surge forces out, and that's created a problem of capacity. We're doing well in the South. We've got to move to the East. But uh, I do believe the decision by President Obama and Vice President Biden uh, not choosing an option given to him by the generals has been problematic. But having said that, uh, the surge is working. There will be 352,000 Afghan soldiers and police under arms by the end of this year. They're better trained and better equipped than ever. I'm quite optimistic, quite frankly, if we'll do the right things, not come out too soon, and have a security agreement past 2014. You say, you say not come out too soon. Forgive right. me for interrupting. Right. Uh, that is your position, Lindsey Graham, Republican yes, of South Carolina. Exactly right. If you listen to the campaign debate unfolding, <laughs> yeah. particularly at the presidential level, right. that is increasingly less and less the majority view, I would say, within the Republican Party. It's sort of hard to put a perspective on it. But yeah. if, if you consider Rick Perry by the polls, your national front runner for president, mm -hmm. listen here. He seems to disagree with Senator Graham. <clears throat> It's time to bring our young men and women home as soon and, as, and, and, and obviously safely as we can. But it's also really important for us to continue to have a presence there. And I think the entire conversation about how do we deliver our aid to those countries, and is it best spent with 100,000 military who have the target on their back in Afghanistan? I don't think so at this particular point in time. Governor Perry wrong? Uh, my advice to Governor Perry would be that we have a plan to withdraw our forces. By 2014, we will have withdrawn substantially all of our forces, and what will uh, provide air sovereignty and uh, help uh, embed and keep the Afghan army on track. So here's what I would say to, to, to Governor Perry. You're right, we need to do it safely. Just listen to the generals. I've got, you know, General Allen and Petraeus have come up with a plan. I am confident that, that, that Governor Perry, if he gets to be president, is not going to undercut our efforts because the one thing I would like for him to have said, oh, is it matters what happens in Afghanistan in terms of our national security. It really does, John. Well, do, do you think he disagrees with you or do you think I, I, he's I, just not sufficiently up to speed I on this issue? I think what he said makes sense that we want it withdraw, we want to leave some behind, and that's the strategic partnership agreement being negotiated between this administration and the Afghan government is the uh, closes the deal against the Taliban. The goal is to have some air bases left behind with air power and special forces units to make sure the Taliban never come back. I will be glad to talk with uh, Governor Perry about the plan, and, he, and th this is the one. Governor thing. Huntsman believes the well, same uh, thing. Governor Congressman Huntsman Paul is, obviously is believes this. More and more in Congress, you do hear some Republicans saying, sure. "Enough, ten years, we can't uh, but, afford this." But here's Let's get what out. I would tell those. Re you know, I criticize the president for c rejecting options and creating his own that's compromised the second fighting season. When it comes to war, I don't want to be a Republican, Democrat. I want to be an American, and I want to win. We got generals that know what they're doing, and to any Republican or Democrat who believes you can just 
run for the exits and it won't follow us in the future and it won't undercut our national security interests for decades, you're just flat wrong. In my view, we have a plan to transition to Afghan control and anybody who believes you can withdraw 100,000 troops and just run for the exits, ask General Petraeus, General Allen, and our other commanders what would happen. Ask Secretary Panetta. So I just, I just don't want politicians making decisions are they, are that are going to compromise. Are those candidates reaching out to guys like you who have studied this for years, who have been uh, there Governor many Romney times over the years? Governor Romney certainly has. Uh, Governor Romney, Chris. Is he your candidate? No. Governor Romney is a good candidate. Perry will be a good candidate for president. I like him a lot. And what we, it's my job. They're, they're talking about jobs and debt. That's what everybody's right. focused on. A guy like me and Senator McCain, it is our job to talk about the national security interests of the country and to be helpful. And I'm confident that General Perry, excuse me, Governor Perry, <laughs> as president, would not pull out 100,000 troops if the generals told him it would lead to chaos. Senator Graham, appreciate your insights Thank and you your time tonight. Thank you, sir. Next, the Senate race, we're already watching.